and Toy Tractor Times fans, I'm at the 2022 Gateway Mid-America Farm Toy Show in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm here with Lane Jensen, who's come from Iowa to the show. And Lane has been at many of the great shows, the National Lafayette here. Uh, can we take a tour of your display today? Yep. Thank you. Yep. So this is a uh, farm display that I depicted in South Central Iowa. <clears throat> I was really wanting a farm display to depict different stages during harvest. I've got the harvested, I got cornfield here, and I got the harvested cornfield over there. Um, I also have a harvested soybean field using Super Leaf product from Scenic Express. It's good detail. I want to take a look at the cornfield. I, I like how you have the end rows that yeah. kind of file the curve yeah, I used, into the fence row. I used an April Kinsey corn planter to plant all of those. And there's approximately 250 corn stalks with this field in the corner field. Corn stalks never go as far as we yeah. like them. <laughs> yeah. So we've got an international uh, semi truck coming in. Uh, Freightliner. Freightliner, okay. Yep. And it's a yeah, truck that I picked up at the Altoona Farm Play Show two years ago. Moving on to the harvested cornfield, I used broom gristle. It's kind of hard to tell, but there is some broom gristle in there I planted with the eight-row Kinsey corn planter, and I also used my uh, sister's uh, blender to blend all the corn stalks that I decided to do. So I see you've got a culvert coming onto the road here. Yep, I got a culvert, and I got the cow, the cow seed signs, and I also got Asbury seed signs. Okay, and there's our seed sign. On the road, there's a Ford F-250 power stroke. It's got Portland Customs grill guard on there. That's good. Got another seed sign here for the beans. Yep. We also have a uh, deer stand out there in the trees. One right there. All the trees are from Scenic Express. It's the same product I use for the harvested soybean field, Super Leaf, and Super okay. Trees. The Super Trees are I really like those more than the uh, Scenic Express. I, I like using those, those the most because they just give a lot bigger looking tree. They give a nice thick look, good border to the field. Yeah, and they also give kind of an effect of how trees don't grow straight up and down, they kind of just grow wherever. And just the idea that they're taller, uh, you know, than all the vehicles, yep. as we can see over here. I weathered a couple of those, and the C65 there. Oh, that's a nice looking truck. One of those cars there is from Justin Displays, and that Ford F-150 was a custom truck I did, so. Oh, it's good, and now we also have a DMI gravity box here. I got the soybeans from Mats and Miniatures and the uh, gravity wagon was from Aaron Jensen and the decals are from Mats and Miniatures. I also decided to put some uh, Chucky's wheels and tires on there and just to finish off that gravity wagon. It looks like the this one it looks uh, field proven. Some nice yeah. uh, weathering on yeah. it. A little bit of weathering on there. I, I've used that gravity wagon several times in the past but it's just one of those pieces that I just always like to use just for small farming. All right, so our main focus point is this uh, John Deere tractor. So what model is here on the Wilmar Spreader? It's a uh, John Deere 8130 I picked up on eBay about a year ago. I believe the guy is out of Texas, and he does some nice, great work. And he's got a couple, of, just, a, just a little bit of his details on there. So. Nice, and then you've got the Wilmar Spreader with a tarp on it. Yep. I <clears throat> also wanted to add a little bit of a detail. The farmers call, call it Heartland Co-op for some more let them know that they'll be on their way to our land. So. That's good. And you've got the field tile drain out here? Yep. Looks like maybe a little bit of a wet spot where the yeah. uh, peninsula of grass there. Just a little bit. So. And what kind of, uh, what are they putting down with the spreader? Uh, just regular fertilizer they'd be using uh, on the farm. So they'd probably be going out to harvest some more soybeans the next day. They're just wanting to get, just get some fertilizer on before they do that. Well, it looks good. I like the older cars and stuff and the laneway yeah. coming off the, the road. Yeah, I also wanted to add just a couple fence lines that got a little overgrown over the years. So. Well, very nice display. And we're back here at the corn. We can see those rows. And it's a good 
good fall time uh, exhibit. Yep. Thank you, Jason. Thank you. And thank you for watching Toy Tractor Times YouTube. You can see more displays like this on the channel. And as always, thank you for watching.